3, 2, 1, let's begin. Hello and welcome back to my weekly devlog. Today is not gonna be a regular devlog because I don't have enough material. All I made was this one character that you are seeing right now. And if you're new here, then check out my previous videos to learn about the game I'm doing. This character is gonna be used for the game. What I have right now is a forest environment and I wanted to do a character that could attack me. So next week, hopefully, I will have enough time to prepare a proper devlog where I will make a bunch of animations for my main hero and this animal. What you're seeing right now is a challenge I decided to do to make it more interesting. Recently I saw a video on YouTube where one guy was trying to make Mario character in 1 hour, 10 minutes and 1 minute. It was funny to see how he struggled making that character and I became really curious to experience that feeling of stress and panic. And I was also curious to see what I would make in that time frame. So right now I'm doing a 1 hour challenge. I have sped up this recording 5 times so it wouldn't get that boring for you. At first I wasn't worried at all because usually I spend from 1 hour to 2 hours making a single character scoot. It really depends on difficulty actually. But when uh, you clearly see the deadline from your timer, it becomes a bit stressful. I have almost spent 10 minutes now and all I have are some basic shapes. In my head I start calculating what I could do in what time frame. Should I focus on detail now or should I make all the shapes first? And this was a mistake because additional thoughts like that distracted me from actually doing the work. By the way, you probably already know by reading the title of this video, but I'm doing a bore. I have some references placed on my other screen to kind of help me with the proportions and some anatomy because I have never made a bore before, so I needed this extra help. I thought that I was prepared for this. But actually, I didn't know that this extra stress would make it worse. When I make a character, I always begin from adding these simple shapes like a cylinder or a sphere that I transform to make some basic character forms. While watching my recordings, I thought that I have spent some time in unnecessary places. I should have focused more on the head for example. But at that time I was still not worried that there was even a possibility for me not to finish this work. So I was moving slowly but with confidence. At this time 15 minutes have already passed and I thought that it was time to add some detail. First I needed to combine these different subtools into a single mesh and then I would start to add some proper anatomy by scooting some muscle tissues. Now by saying a proper anatomy I'm actually lying because the stress has already kicked in and I was like I should make the anatomy a bit random, this way it wouldn't take that long and it would still look believable. So I have added a bunch of muscles for the legs at first, there was some logic in it and I also had some references but the majority of them are really placed randomly. At this time I looked at my timer and I started feeling really worried because one third of one hour has already passed and I still have only basic shapes. So I tried to make these muscles as fast as possible. I learned a lot from this challenge. I have mentioned this 2080 rule in my past videos where you spend 20% of your time to make 80% of your work. And to finish those last 20% of work you need to spend 80% of your remaining time. Now it's often the best choice to make your work 100% finished, but sometimes it's enough to have 80% finished work because you only use 20% of your time and that work is not as important as it might look at first. It all depends on conditions. For example, this character will be quite far away from the camera which means that all the small details are not that important and maybe it's better to use less time to make more models like that. The development of your game would increase a lot. So yeah, I use this rule a lot and my game might look like it lacks something 
but it's good enough for me. I was really into the sculpting process that I even forgot to check the timer. I was feeling more confident again because I liked the result, but then I noticed that less than half an hour is left and I still don't have the head, which is supposed to be the most important part. I mean, it's easier to recognize that it's actually a boar from looking at its face. Right now, the body could belong to anyone. My confidence crumbled and I panicked a little bit. That made me lose any ideas on how to start making this head. I really didn't know what I had to do first. But slowly I gained momentum and started sculpting some big details on its face, then went for some small detail, added some eyes and tusks. Since I had so much time, I made the sculpt in the most comfortable way which is having all the parts in different subtools. It's easier to fix some mistakes later that way. Now, around 12 minutes have left, and it's great that I had some alphas already prepared for making some hair. It was so much easier that way. I just click and drag, and a new patch of hair instantly appears on the model. I still needed to make some tweaks, but this didn't take a long time.
Right after that I started to add some colors because I thought that this is the only thing left to do. And you may have already noticed, but this board doesn't have any ears yet. I just didn't notice that they are missing, so I continued coloring them a little slowly. When it was only 3 minutes left I finally noticed the missing ears and this also gave me some panic but 3 minutes were enough to make something that resembles ears more or less. This didn't take a lot of time and I finished with additionally adding some color for his hooves. And that's it, I was more or less happy with the result and I have decided that the model is good enough to use it for the game. Next up was a 10 minute challenge, so without any delay let's start. Since I had trouble making a 1 hour challenge where I almost forgot to add ears for the model, I felt that I don't have enough confidence and I might, might not be able to finish it in time. This recording is sped up by two times, by the way. The time was really not enough to think about what is the better approach for making this character faster, but I decided not to add a lot of different subtools. I was quite happy with the head knowing that it was done only in 4 minutes. When I started making the legs I was so disappointed in the lack of detail, but it's just for fun so I decided not to care about how it looks and just have some fun.
I added some color and I even had some one and a half minutes to add some additional detail. And that's it. This character looked so strange, I even had this feeling when something is so bad that it becomes funny. But anyway, that was really fun to do. Speaking of which, I still need to make a 1 minute challenge and again, without any delay, I have begun. Now, I didn't imagine how bad it could get, but it definitely was the worst of them all and the most funny to me. Actually, my daughter preferred this one because it looked so cute to her, but she thought it was a pig, and I noticed that I forgot to add some tasks. But anyway, even the task would not help to make this abomination look any better. By the way, I have cheated a little bit by adding color which took me around 5 seconds, but I just couldn't resist leaving it colorless. So this is it, the challenge was finished. I had a lot of fun, maybe I should make this more often, I'm not sure, but yeah, I might think about it in the future. Now comparing all the models, let's ignore the one on the right side and look at the other two. They look kind of similar and if you could imagine looking at them from far away, it would even be difficult to say which one is better. For a trained eye it's easy to see the difference, however one of them took 6 times longer to make which clearly shows that 28 rule that I was talking about before in action. Sometimes it might be better to use less time creating something. I hope you have enjoyed the video, leave a like if you liked it and have a great week.